Hi Year 9, we are continuing with the scheme of work of Bloody Ari. This week we're going to be looking at the topic of capital punishment. Next week you're going to be looking at Christian attitudes towards capital punishment and the following week you are going to be looking at Islamic attitudes towards capital punishment. So, in today's lesson you'll be able to understand what capital punishment is and why it is used. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the definition of capital punishment. What I want you to do is either look in a dictionary or look online for the de definition of capital punishment. I want you to pause this video now before we put the answer up. So capital punishment is the punishment which involves the legal killing of a person who has committed a serious crime such as murder. And did you know that the other word for capital punishment is actually death penalty? So you might have heard of this before. As you can see from the right hand side, you can see the top five executioners in 2016. On your paper, whiteboard or device, what information can you gather from this picture? So you might be thinking, why does capital punishment exist? Some of you may have already formed your views, whether you agree with it or disagree with it. But two reasons why capital punishment exists is for deterrence and retribution. So the definition of the deterrence is discouraging an action through instilling fear of the consequences. So for example, if someone does have the capital punishment and they do die from committing a crime, that would put off other people from committing that same crime because of the fear of death. Um, retribution is a severe punishment for someone, for something, an action that somebody has done. So it might be a deserved punishment. So for example, if someone has committed murder, their punishment might be them dying. So examples of reasons for the death penalty include murder, abuse, terrorism, drug trafficking, drug dealing, robbery and kidnapping. I want you to think about whether the death penalty is served to scare people away from committing a crime or is it a deserved punishment for a serious crime. So you might be thinking, does the UK have the death penalty? Capital punishment actually existed in the UK up until 1965. It has since been abolished for many reasons. For some people, they do not see it as a de an effective deterrent. They believe that it doesn't work. People still commit crimes, regardless of what the punishment is. What I want you to do on your paper, whiteboard or device, I want you to think about why the UK got rid of the death penalty. And I want you to complete the sentence starter. Do you think that people in the UK should or should not bring back the death penalty and why? Massive task is to look at a different reason. So why might someone disagree with you? I want you to imagine that there is going to be a possible return of capital punishment to the UK. What would you say as a news reporter? What would your opening headline be? So I want to know what your opinion on the death penalty is. And this is the task that is going to be uploaded onto class charts. So whatever you're using, whether it's paper, whiteboard or a device, I want you to complete the following sentence starters. So I am either for the death penalty or against death penalty or undecided about the death penalty. And I want you to explain why. For your master task, I need you to also look at the opposing view. So why might someone disagree with you? Once you have done that, I want you to think about what other forms of punishment someone might use other than capital punishment and complete that sentence start, please. Remember, once you have done this, can you take a picture of your work and upload it to class charts? Your plenary for today is whack-a-mole. So there are a number of keywords that we have mentioned in today's lesson. The keywords will come up along with other keywords that are not included in this lesson. You are going to whack the moles which have keywords from today's lesson only. Thank you.